the nerve of you, the nerve of you to be afraid of my black skin. You used to be afraid of my breath. Even if I was looking through an objective lens, I'd be terrified of you with all your kin. You started this fight when I was minding my own business. Sell me on the boat and chains while whipping me and letting my brethren die of hunger pains. We were all just property so the dead get thrown to sea. Little did we know it would be for no years before we would ever be free. To keep this way of life, you go to war with yourself, killing you and still others like myself. You lose that civil war, but yet your hatred still brews. You continue to find ways to torture and discriminate somebody that has never done anything to you. You blow up buildings and kill kids in school. <coughs> All the while continuing to blame me for the violence that goes on in the news. Stripped of voting rights, education, and opportunity, you still want to blame me for all the poverty going on in my community? Black on black crime is what you always say. But if we just killing each other, why are you so afraid? <laughs> the largest killing sprees in the history of the world have been at the hands of somebody that looked just like you. Do you want to tell me that you're afraid of me? Nah, I should be afraid of you. But I'm not. I know you're not one of them. Because I know there's a difference between him, her, and him. I know you're not all the same, so why would I even think that? Even if your father was the greatest baseball player that ever lived, don't mean you can swing a bat. I will never blame you for what somebody that looks like you did. So please don't look to me for what that stranger I have never even met is. Although we have our differences, underneath we are all still the same. Blessed to be here. In Jesus' name, what we need is less judgment and more love. Why don't we let our sins be decided from the man above? Please. Don't fear me.